As if Ahsoka might not already be my most anticipated Star Wars project in quite some time, adding this might just take it from highly anticipated to mind-blowingly phenomenal. What's up Nerd Journey Nation and Star Wars enthusiasts, Aaron Waller here, and today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming Ahsoka series that I'm already excited for, but also about the possibility of something that could make it even better. That's right, as if the Ahsoka series isn't already jam-packed with not only Ahsoka, but also the live-action introduction of most of the Rebels crew and Grand Admiral Thrawn, but we may also be getting a fan-favorite actor and character that's been around since 2008, and that's Sam Witwer as Galen Merrick, aka Starkiller. Now despite being in both the Force Unleashed and Force Unleashed 2 video game, Starkiller has been considered more along the lines of Legends. That being said, however, the same can pretty much be said for the Heir to the Empire Thrawn trilogy that Dave Filoni is using as a basis for his own live action films. So they may be Legends now, but both Heir and Force Unleashed seem to be slowly creeping back into the canon universe under Filoni. But the reason why Starkiller may be more of a possibility now more than ever is not only that is he an amazing character that was the secret apprentice of Darth Vader as was revealed in the Force Unleashed video games, but he was essentially an Inquisitor hunting down Jedi. And Filoni even confirmed that he considered bringing Starkiller back for Rebels, but felt that the character was a bit too powerful and just didn't quite fit the storyline. Which brings us back to the present with the Ahsoka trailers, where we see the title character battling against a masked Inquisitor that we have not yet seen before, and the rumor is that this could potentially be Starkiller. And in my opinion, I think that that would be just about perfect. Not only because I love Sam Witwer and think that he deserves a much larger role in the Star Wars universe, as he has voiced various characters in animation in the past, including Darth Maul, Palpatine, and obviously was the main character in Force Unleashed, but I think that the character can serve another purpose. According to Bespin Bulletin and the Star Wars All Access page, the Inquisitor's name in question is Merrick, albeit with a different spelling than Starkiller's given name of Galen Merrick, but the point is that the name is the same. And could it be a bait and switch? I mean, sure. We've met other Merricks before in both Rogue One and in the Clone Wars, so I could just be grasping at straws here. But the name drop and connection alone has myself and tons of other Star Wars fans excited at the possibility of bringing in the Star Wars alum. And I'm sure someone out there is already commenting on this video how it definitely can't be him because of a thousand different reasons. From his name spelling, to Starkiller predating the Inquisitors, to the characters being too overpowered and not even making sense within the context of the show unless they drastically change the character itself. And I'm sure there's plenty of other things too that I'm not thinking of at the moment. And I definitely hear you, but would it not be cool? Plus if the character sticks around a bit, I think that he could be a nice replacement for the Luke Skywalker clone that Thrawn created and could even be part of the initiative that Moff Gideon was working on in The Mandalorian. And no matter how much of a fan of Star Wars you are, if you can honestly tell me that it's not exciting and awesome to think of Anakin's former apprentice facing off against his secret apprentice, that could easily be one of the best duels in Star Wars history, and that alone has me so excited. But then again, this could all just be speculation. It could end up being someone we don't even know, and the story could take a whole new direction. Honestly, I just really want to see Sam Witwer somewhere in Star Wars live action. He's way too awesome to not be a part of it, and I think he is long overdue. But regardless, we'll just have to wait a little longer as Ahsoka continues to near its premiere date. But anyway, those are my thoughts, and now I want to hear from you in the Nerdgenic community. What did you think of this news? Do you think that Starkiller has a real shot at showing up in Ahsoka? Or do you think that he should remain part of Legends for now and maybe be used later, if at all? And also, do you think that we should do watch parties for Ahsoka, or would you want me to talk about each episode as it's released with all the easter eggs and fun stuff and all the stuff you may have missed? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos from me or the rest of the Nerdgenic team. And also be sure to give us a follow across all social media platforms at Nerdgenic. That way you don't miss out on any special news, announcements, or articles at Nerdgenic.com. But in the meantime, if you want even more video content from us, check out this related Star Wars video right over here, or for even more awesome Star Wars content, check out this playlist right over here. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, we really do appreciate it, and we hope to see you in the next video.